So I've been playing around with some components I've had sitting around. Uh, as you can see, I'm still set up at home on the bench here, but uh, this shows me booting up my Raspberry Pi car system. So with the system booting up here, I've uh, managed to link in a Node MCU microcontroller um, with a DHT22 uh, temperature and humidity sensor. Uh, so I've got them wired up and I've got it set up to wirelessly connect to my uh, internet at home currently um, and transmit the data to the dashboard uh, via MQTT and the wireless setup. Um, so here you can see me just uh, navigating some screens, but I'm going to plug in the Node MCU right now. Um, one thing I've realized is the MQTT server is set up to retain the last message. So right now, the last time I had it plugged in, it was 19.4 degrees. So I'm going to have to see about resetting that to zero at boot up um, so that it uh, starts off fresh, basically. Um, or at least clear the results, but you can see there it's been updated to 22.1 degrees, which is the temperature in the house at the moment. Um, and here I'm going to apply some uh, concentrated heat and humidity <laughs> to the sensor, and you'll see it update in real time on the dashboard there. So as you can see, it's transmitting through the wireless and working well, so thanks. I've also been uh, working on transitioning the engine control monitor from the Arduino Mega up there to a Teensy 4.0 setup. So this is just kind of some B-roll footage of me. This is the new box I've got it in right now. I've kind of bounced around lots in terms of enclosures, but this is where I'm going now. That's the uh, engine monitor now, but I'm going to swap that out for the Teensy. Um, so you kind of scroll through here. This is on my test bench, so there's that uh, Node MCU with the temperature setting. There's the Node Red flow behind, and there's the Teensy with my two CAN bus modules. Um, so there. Yeah, it's all set up, good to go. Um, I do have the Teensy communicating now, so I'm just trying to figure things out and swap code over, and hopefully I'll get things running pretty soon. But uh, thanks so much for following along. Um, I wish I had more quick updates, but... Life is crazy, so thanks, uh, like, and subscribe for more. Thanks, guys. Bye.